Just like we derived the capacitance of different shapes of capacitors based on the material they're made out of, in other words, the, uh, uh, the uh, dielectric constant, also the area and the plate separation, uh, depending on what the shape of the capacitor is, also it's different. Just like we derived the capacitance based on those factors, we similarly derive the inductance based on those factors. Uh, materials, and we also derive it based on the, uh, the, the shape of it and the uh, various physical dimensions. Now, uh, a coil is, if we, de if we define the inductance like this, N times, the, this is the magnetic flux, I should add that right there. Uh, there is our definition. So to derive the inductance of a coil, you simply got to figure out that. N, that's the number of turns. So what's that right there? What is mu naught Ni times A? That's the flux through the coil of area A. The coil has to have area A. Mu this is the magnetic field right here. Uh, this is the area. That is flux, and there's I. Notice that the I's cancel, so those go away. And then I get the N number of turns times mu naught, the permeability of free space, N over L times A. Now, what the heck did I do to get this? What is the relationship between little n, the number of turns per unit length, and big N, the number of turns? Little n is just big N over L like that. And that's how I got this step right there. I just substituted that term right in there for my, uh, for my little n. And once you do that, you got this. Mu naught times n squared. Notice that I've got this n and that n. n squared times a, the cross-sectional area of the coil, per unit length. Now, one way we like to express this is like this. The inductance of a coil is this mu naught n squared v, where v is the volume of the coil. How the heck do we get that? Let's go ahead and show that right now. Um, how do you get the, I'm going to take what I have originally here. I've got my L of my coil is uh, mu naught n squared times a over L. Um, what is the volume of your coil? Volume equals a times L. If you solve for A, A is equal to the volume over L. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to substitute the volume over L in for that. So it's mu naught N squared volume over L. Uh, and that is uh, over L. I, and then uh, for N squared, notice that is N L quantity squared. And that is all over... Uh, mu, this is mu naught times uh, V over L squared, just putting this L on the bottom there. And notice that this L squared cancels that L squared, and what I'm left with is exactly this. So the inductance of a coil depends on its volume. It depends on what else? The number of turns per unit length, that little n right there. Cool. That is the inductance of a coil. And that's pretty much the only inductance that we need for this entire chapter.